Yeah. Good morning. In the last class, we have discussed about the uh, body plot, and uh, there there are the four standard factors which are discussed in the last class, and uh, the, that is one is system gain and uh, pole or zero at origin. Third factor is simple pole and simple pole and or simple zero. Then fourth factor we have discussed is the quadratic pole or quadratic zero. So uh, we have plotted for the broad plot for each individual factors. That is, uh, first factor is system gain k. We have taken and then we have plotted. And uh, uh, second one is also we have plotted. That is, considering one pole at origin and two poles at origin and their contributions to the uh, magnitude plot. What is the slope for contributions? Slope contributions to the magnitude plot and uh, the uh, for the pole at origin or the zero at origin, then we have taken the system gain and combiningly the resultant uh, slope we have found out from the uh, k and as well as pole at origin or zero at origin. So today what we do is uh, uh, we in that body uh, plot is always start with the initial. I mean initial uh, slope is nothing but how many poles are zero at origin. Based on that, initial slope of the border plot is depends. So initial border plot is starts with the number of poles and number of zeros at origin. Number of zeros at origin or number of poles at origin. So depending on that, the initial border plot is going to be uh, depend on. So now uh, we have discussed the two factors. We have discussed the two factors that is system gain k and as well as pole R0 at origin. So now what we do is we'll take the other factors which is system gain K. Then the second one which we discussed about is pole R0 at origin. Now we discuss the third pole which is we can call it as which is we can call it as simple pole and or simple zero simple zero so here if you look at the simple pole and simple zero uh, we will take one example say g of s into h of s i'll be taking as g of s into h of s is equal to say uh, one simple pole one by one plus say uh, in time standard form i'm writing time standard form i'm writing so one plus ts so one pole i have taken so now what we have to do the uh, replacing the s yes by j omega in general body plot will be draw, drawing by replacing the s yes by j omega so g of j omega h of j omega is equal to 1 by 1 plus j omega into t or t omega whatever it is okay so here omega is the varying from 0 to infinity omega is varying from 0 to infinity so now uh, the next step of replacing the s by j omega what is the next step in the border plot is we need to find out the magnitude we need to find out the magnitude so how to find out the magnitude so magnitude is mod of mod of g of j omega h of j omega so which is equal to mod 1 divided by mod of 1 plus j omega into t so this can be written as 1 by this can be written as 1 by root of square root of uh, 1 square plus omega t whole square 1 square plus omega t whole square so it is i'm going to get 1 square root of 1 plus omega square into t square or t square into omega square now this is what the uh, magnitude in terms of units then what we do is we will be converting into in decibels that is by applying 20 log of 20 log of mod of g of j omega into h of j omega which is equal to which is equal to 20 log uh, 20 log of See this uh, root of one, more, 1 plus omega square t square I will be taking to the numerator. So what will be happen so to the power of minus 1 it will come to the in, uh, in front of this uh, term. So minus 20 log root of one, square, 1 plus omega square plus t square. This is what we are going to get in terms of uh, magnitude in terms of decimals. Magnitude in terms of decimals. Uh, decibels. 
that is d b that is d b now now what i am going to do is here we need to find out the omega where we need to find out the omega yes okay right so this magnitude we have found it in terms of decibels in terms of decibels so we have to vary the omega with respect to 0 to infinity omega is varying from 0 to infinity so how this magnitude is going to be calculated that we need to calculate so if you look at this uh, this omega if i for because omega is the varying from uh, smaller values to the higher values infinity means larger values so when i'm varying this omega from smaller values when it is very say if i if i say that is omega square and t square is lower values we can say it is far less than one means the values which i have considered here the values which i have considered that is omega square t square is far less than one far less than one then what will happen this term will be uh, lesser than the one so it is will be neglected it will be neglected so at lower frequencies at lower uh, frequencies we can say at lower frequencies what happens this omega square is far lesser than the one value means this is greater than this so this lower i mean lowest term can be neglected lowest term can be neglected so omega is uh, smaller in the sense say for example omega is 0.01 so omega square it will become 0.0001 still further it is going to be reduced so the value which is compared to this one it will be negligible so that is why if i replace this that is magnitude is equal to minus 20 log root 1 because this is far uh, i mean far lesser than the one value so this this will be neglected and it will be cancelled it means 0.0001 Will become zero, so that's a root one. Root one is one, so minus twenty log one is going to be zero dB. Means at lower frequencies, at lower frequencies, we are going to get the uh, magnitude as zero dB. We are going to get the magnitude. Magnitude is going to be here zero dB at lower frequencies. At lower frequencies. Similarly, if it is taken, the omega is far uh, greater than uh, that is omega square t square is greater than say far greater than one. means omega is say for example 10 power 6 omega is say for 10 power 6 then this one will be neglected now so the magnitude which you have minus 20 log root of 1 plus omega square t square then compare to this two terms I mean if i compare this one with this omega square and t square this will be uh, one will be negligible at the higher frequencies so what i do is at higher frequency at higher frequency at higher frequencies we have magnitude we have magnitude is equal to minus 20 log one will be neglected in the second case higher frequencies one will be neglected and omega square t square will be kept like that so if we write this omega t minus 20 into log or root of Omega t whole square, so square and root will cancel out. I'll be getting minus 20 log omega into t. So of course this is a constant. So here this is also represents this is also represents uh, uh, L equation of line equation of line that is uh, magnitude is in a y axis. Magnitude is taken as in the y axis. so we have that magnitude is equal to we have got magnitude is equal to 
minus 20 log omega t in the case of higher frequencies higher frequencies at lower frequencies we have got the magnitude is equal to 0 db 0 db so here if you look at this minus 20 log omega t so this is also having uh, the equation of line if you take this this is the uh, magnitude line right the magnitude and this is say log omega line so it is nothing but uh, it shows the uh, equation of line y is equal to mx which has the line of slope is going to be minus 20 db line of slope is going to be minus 20 db slow slope of the line is going to be minus 20 db see here uh, where it is going to because this it is going to be say for example uh, the magnitude is say 0 db 0 db at lower frequencies that is 0 0.1 and 0 0.121 and even uh, uh, 10 so at lower frequencies it is having the uh, 0 db line so it is having the 0 db as the increases as the frequency is increasing then it is changing its slope from uh, 0 db to the minus 20 db so this is the line of slope this is the line of slope we can say it is a line of slope with minus 20 db per decade means for the same simple pole for the same simple pole which you are considering here for the same simple pole which you have considered here that is 1 by 1 plus ts in the g of s into h of s equation so this simple pole is having the magnitude for the lower frequencies is 0 db and higher frequencies it is having the minus line of slope of minus 20 db per decade so here there is a change or there is a uh, slope is changing from this point so the point which i have marked here if you look at so this is the point so this is the point where the change of slope is occurs so where it is exactly occurring this change of slope means this is the line equation say for example this is the line equation y is equal to mx plus c then if this line if i want to find out this intersection point if have this is the 0 db line this is the 0 db line means at this particular point magnitude is equal to 0 magnitude is equal to 0 so by e by equating this magnitude is equal to 0 in this case so minus 20 log omega t is equal to 0 at this particular point so magnitude equation is what minus 20 log omega t so if we equate this uh, to 0 i'll be getting minus 20 log omega t is equal to 0 then log omega t is equal to 0 then omega t as it is base is 10 10 to the power of 0 which is equal to uh, omega t is equal to then 1 then omega c we can name it as c this is called as c omega c is equal to 1 by t so this is very very important point what is omega c here omega c is called as corner frequency what is meant by corner frequency in the sense this is the frequency at which the change of slope from this is the 0 db slope and this is the minus 20 db per decade slope so the here the change of slope occurs at this particular point that point that point is nothing but omega c is equal to 1 by t point that point is nothing but omega c equal to 1 by t so that at that particular point it changes its slope from 0 db to minus 20 db so you need to find out the corner frequency for the simple pole you need to find out the corner frequency for the simple pole and then and then you need to change the slope of the line by adding to the previous uh, previous slopes of the line so that is how we need to do in the case of simple pole so now uh, we have uh, plotted the magnitude plot and then we need to find out the phase angle plot so what is the phase angle you are going to calculate so phase angle we know that is pi is equal to tan inverse of imaginary by real axis imaginary part by real part so if you take this i have taken the z of j omega into h of j omega is equal to 1 by 1 plus j into t omega so from this what we can write that phase angle is equal to tan inverse of 
okay uh, first we'll find out this uh, individual thing individual thing that is uh, right so here angle of g of j omega into h of j omega is equal to angle 1 divided by angle of 1 plus j t omega means angle 1 plus j 0 which is equal to 0 degrees divided by tan inverse of imaginary point is omega t or t omega okay omega t or t omega and divided by 1 so tan inverse omega t so this is equal to see here as i told that in the rectangular coordinates if the rectangular coordinates if i want to find out the angle if i want to find out the angle it is a sum of numerator angles minus sum of denominator angles minus sum of denominator angles so numerator angles only one is there so that is 0 degrees that is 0 degrees minus then the denominator angles are only one we have so 0 degrees minus tan inverse of omega t is the resultant of this rectangular uh angle I mean, rectangular coordinates uh, angles if i wanted to find out like this so 0 minus uh, tan inverse omega t degrees is nothing but minus tan inverse of omega t minus tan inverse of omega t so base angle is minus tan inverse of omega t and the magnitude is at lower frequencies it has the zero and at higher frequency it is as the line of slope of uh, minus 20 db it represents so it changes its slope from zero to minus 20 db at omega c equal to 1 by t so these are the three points which we need to uh, uh, get from the simple pole which we have considered so when i say if there is a simple pole in the problem g of s in the h of s open loop transfer function we can take three uh, conclusions from that one is uh, the at uh, it changes its slope at omega c is equal to 1 by t it changes its slope at omega c is equal to 1 by t that is uh, uh 0 db magnitude magnitude having the line of slope line of slope line of slope of minus 20 db minus 20 db per decade per decade and the third point which we need to uh, discuss is phase angle that is equal to minus tan inverse of omega into t is the these the three points are uh, need to be uh, concluded from the simple pole uh body plot so once you have the first and second factor that is k and pole are zero torsion pole are zero torsion so you need to combine these two and plot the resultant and plot the resultant uh, slope after combining these two factors then afterwards we need to add we need to add the uh, slopes i need to add the slopes of Uh, algebraically slopes of algebraically slopes of poles algebraically i am going to uh, write in bracket slopes of poles i mean simple poles or uh, simple zeros whatever you have or quadratic poles and quadratic zeros then whatever you have you need to just al- add the slopes algebraically add the slopes of the simple pole simple zero or quadratic pole whatever it is so we need to just add in the case of magnitude plot we need to just add the all the uh, slopes of uh, simple pole uh, li- i mean so the simple pole contribution of slope is going to be minus 20 db per decade means the magnitude if i plot where the omega is varying from zero to infinity the slope is having the uh, minus 20 db line minus 20 db line so this change of slope is occurs at omega c is equal to 1 by t so these are the three points which we need to uh, uh, conclude from the simple pole factor from the simple pole factor then similarly here i am i am considering the because uh, we are not considering exactly that 1 plus omega t uh, and the square root of minus 20 log right so this is the magnitude uh, which we have on on the square omega square t square we are not considering exactly this value for the omega uh, zero to infinity and varying that and find, finding the magnitude we are considering the approximation right so as it is say for example assuming that omega t is far lesser than in uh, than at lower frequencies then it is neglected so we are not exactly calculating the what magnitude how much is the magnitude so that is why this is called as asymptotic method this is what called as asymptotic 
method means approximation method or approximation method because we are not considering the exact value so this is what we have and of course if we consider this exactly that is what we can say error method we are not considering this error so we are plotting only for the asymptotic gode plots or asymptotic gode plots so we are following asymptotic gode plots only asymptotic gode plots only. means we are not considering the exact values we are assuming that it is omega square it is square comparatively this one is neglected that is a thing which you are taking into consideration so we are not getting the exact values are we are going for approximation that is why we are plotting the asymptotic gode plots now we'll go to the second point that is uh, when we consider this uh, uh, simple zero simple zero so simple zero is also similar uh, uh, kind we are going to find out that is simple zero simple zero so i'll be taking simple zero as one of the uh, factor simple zero means which is the zero which is other than at uh, zero location in the real uh, s plane so simple zero that is z of s into h of s which is equal to 1 plus t into s so i am taking the factor because the zero in the sense it is a uh, numerator value it is a numerator value right so in the numerator value that we can take it as like this now g of s into h of s replace the g of, uh, s by j omega so i'll be getting g of j omega h of j omega 1 plus j omega into t okay now we need to find out the magnitude that is magnitude of uh, mod of g of j omega into h of j omega so that is mod of 1 plus j into omega t so that is we will be getting square root of 1 square plus omega square t square then if i want to get in terms of decibels i will be applying 20 log of mod of g omega into h of g omega so i will be getting 20 log of square root of 1 square plus omega square plus into t square so here if you look at this, you'll be getting the positive slope. You'll be getting the positive slope of. You'll be getting the positive slope. In the previous simple poll, we'll be getting the minus 20 log. Here, we'll be getting the plus 20 log. And similarly, in the same fashion, how we have done for the simple poll, at lower frequencies, that is, at lower frequencies. So when omega is far lesser than one, then omega square t square is far lesser than value. Then one, this one will be neglected. This one will be neglected. I mean, uh, sorry, uh, for lesser than values, this omega square t square will be neglected. So then this 20 log magnitude will become, then the magnitude will become 20 log square root of one. So 20 log one, which is equal to zero degree. Similarly, at higher frequencies, at higher frequencies, we have omega square t square is far greater than the one value, then the magnitude is equal to, this one will be neglected now, so 20 log square root of omega square and t square, so square and uh, uh, square root will be cancelled out, I will be getting 20 log uh, omega t, 20 log omega t. So here, uh, the slope of the line, if you look at this, the slope of the line is going to be plus 20 dB. So here, the magnitude at lower frequencies, it is having 0 dB. And then at higher frequency, it is changing its slope from uh, 0 dB to my, uh, plus 20 dB. Sorry, it goes up. It goes up. This line will goes up because it's plus 20 dB line in the sense it is having the positive slope. So it will be like this. So here it has the change of slope at this particular point at this particular point so if you look at this where it exactly intersect this 0 db line where it exactly intersect this 0 db line is nothing but equating to 0 this log 20 log omega t equal to 0 then log omega t is equal to 0 then omega t is equal to 10 to the power of 0 because the base is 10 then omega c is equal to 1 by t see in the case of simple pole in the case of simple pole 
we have the same corner frequency and in the case of uh, simple zero the corner frequency is same but where it is uh, differentiating in the sense say simple zero is having the corner frequency is equal to 1 by t but the slope contribution if i look at the slope contribution is slope of plus 20 db per decade plus 20 db per decade contribution right and the third point is phase angle so phase angle is nothing but say uh, mod of g of j omega into h of g j omega which is equal to 20 la i mean uh, 1 plus 1 plus so we have taken this 1 plus j t omega so angle of angle of we are going to find out the phase angle angle of so angle of this is going to be angle 1 plus so it is tan inverse of omega t by 1 means this here plus we have so whereas in the case of that we have minus tan inverse so here phase angle is phase angle is in this case is plus tan inverse omega Plus tan inverse omega t. So if you look at this corner frequency for both the cases, it is same. Corner frequency, this both the cases, it is same. So simple pole. If I write for simple pole, if I write for simple pole, say omega c is equal to one by t. But slope, if you look at the slope of the line, is going to be minus twenty db per decade. slope of line and the magnitude line is going to be minus 20 db per decade the magnitude line has this slope the magnitude line has the slope of minus 20 db per decade in the case of simple pole simple zero we have plus 20 db and phase angle in this case is minus tan inverse of omega into t both are same but only thing is in this case uh, plus tan inverse omega t in the case of simple zero minus we have the in the case of simple pole so uh, if you look at this two equations omega c equal to 1 by t and omega c equal to 1 by t same in both the cases means the corner frequency where the change of slope occurs from 0 db to minus 20 db or plus 20 db at omega c equal to 1 by t in the both cases in the both cases now if you look at the other uh, fourth factor the fourth factor is which we have discussed yeah the fourth factor factor number 4 factor number 4 we have Yeah, factor number four is what quadratic factor. It is quadratic factor. So, what is quadratic factor means which cannot be factorized into. Assuming that we have the quadratic factor, so g of s into h of s is equal to one by s square. I mean, uh, I'll write in the standard form. Uh, uh, in the standard form, that is directly. So. One plus two zeta, okay, by omega n because omega n will be cancelled out. So omega n square is taken common to get the uh, to get the this one. So s square by omega n square means I have the s square plus two zeta omega n into s plus omega n square, right? So the constant term I make it as well means dividing this whole term with omega n square. only considering the denominator only considering the denominator i'll be getting 1 plus okay 2 zeta by omega n into s plus s square by omega n square so that is what uh, i have written here this is what i have written here okay so one uh, now replace this uh, s by j omega so i'll be writing g of j omega into h of j omega which is equal to 1 by 1 plus 2 zeta by omega n into j omega plus j square omega square divided by omega n square. So we know that j square is equal to minus one. I square or j square is equal to minus one. So one by 
1 minus omega by omega n whole square plus j 2 zeta into omega by omega n. So this is what we have. Uh, I mean, re 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 rearranging the term, rearranging the term, I'll be getting like this. Right? So next. Yeah. So then once you rearrange the terms, then first thing is we need to find out the magnitude. We need to find out the magnitude. So what is the magnitude equation here? So mad of g of j omega into h of j omega, which will be given mod 1 divided by mod of this 1 minus of mod of 1 minus of omega by omega n whole square plus j into, I mean 2 zeta into omega by omega n. So if I take this, this will become 1 and the square root of, square root of we have the 1 minus omega by omega n whole square and then whole square. Okay. This is complete thing is as x. This complete thing is x plus j omega. So x square means it is 1 minus omega by omega n whole square, whole square. So that's why whole square then plus we have 2 zeta is nothing but 4 square, I mean 4 zeta square, omega by omega n whole square. So zeta is less than, because we are considering the under amped case, we are considering the under amped case, we know always the zeta is less than 1. But when compared to this omega by omega n whole square, when compared to the omega by omega n whole square is far greater than one value. Say for example, first is we'll find the uh, at lower frequencies, then we'll go for the higher frequency calculation. So this is what the magnitude which I have got. Magnitude which I have got. So now at lower frequencies, say at lower frequencies, at lower frequencies means the uh, omega is say omega is far lesser than omega n means natural frequencies uh, the constant value which for any a particular type of system so omega is far lesser i mean lesser than the omega n value then omega by omega n is far lesser than the one so if it's squared then it will be further lesser than the value of one so when compared to this when compared to this this is already this term uh, I mean, uh, this term is going to be neglected. So here, uh, omega by omega n is already uh, is far lesser than value and zeta square. Zeta is also, it is less than one. It is less than one. So square of that less than value is also less than. So this total term is neglected. And also this also will be neglected. And I'll be getting uh, magnitude is equal to 20 log, 20 log, one because if i take it to the numerator that magnitude is equal to 20 log minus 20 log square root of 1 minus omega by omega n whole square and then whole square plus 4 zeta square omega by omega n whole square so this is what we get so these are all the terms which are neglected at lower frequencies i'll be getting 20 log 1 minus 20 log 1 so it will become 0 db Similarly, at higher frequencies, if I consider, at higher frequencies, if I consider, at higher frequencies, means omega by omega in far greater than 1. So far greater than 1 in the sense, this term will be neglected, this term will be neglected, and even this, even though it is greater than, because of this zeta square, because zeta is say for example 0 0.5 then it is square if i do so it is going to be 0 0.25 means further it is in this so as the zeta value is lesser than one value because even though the term is higher this will be this will be because of this zeta this total term is lesser than the value of in the first term so that is why compared to the first term the second term is neglected even for the higher frequencies even at the higher frequencies because of zeta present in the second term because of the zeta present in term second term we are elected compared to the first term that is omega by omega n whole square and then whole square 
So if I neglect that, uh, I'll be getting this uh, magnitude is equal. To, magnitude is equal to minus twenty log minus twenty log square root of one is neglected. So I'll be getting omega n square whole square. So so this square and the square root will be cancelled out. So I'll be getting minus twenty log. <laughs> Sorry, minus twenty log omega by omega n whole square. Then this two will come into this in front of this logarithmic term. So I'll be getting minus forty log omega by omega n is the magnitude at higher frequencies at higher frequencies i got the magnitude as minus 40 by minus 40 into log omega by omega n at lower frequencies which i got it is 0 degree so if i plot if i plot this board a plot at 0 db and it is changing the slope it's negative negative in sense downward so i'll draw i'll draw so it is having like this and then at a particular value of omega at a particular value of omega it is changing its slope in the downward trend because it is a pole it is a pole it is having the minus 20 next it has a change of slope it has a change of slope at this particular point so where it is going to uh, give the change of slope means this is the line of equation that is a minus 20 a uh, minus 40 log omega by omega n and equate to 0 then i'll be getting minus 40 log omega by omega n is equal to 0 we know that log omega by omega n is equal to 0 and if i take omega by omega n is equal to 10 to the power of 0 then here this omega is called as corner frequency so omega c is equal to 1 into omega n so omega c is equal to omega n in the case of in the case of quadratic pole so what is the corner frequency in the case of quadratic pole it is omega n and similarly if you look at this the slope of the line the slope of the line is going to be this is minus 40 db the slope of the line is minus 40 db per decade in the case of quadratic pole in the case of simple pole it is minus 20 db per decade the line of slope the magnitude line this is a magnitude equation right the magnitude line ha consists of minus 40 db line minus 40 db line so then uh, we'll go for the next uh, uh, which we need to calculate is phase angle we need to calculate is phase angle so phase angle calculation so we have the g of j omega into h of j omega is equal to uh, 1 by 1 by we have 1 uh, 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 i mean 1 uh, minus omega by omega n whole square plus j into 2 zeta omega by omega n is the this is the actual g of j omega so for this we need to find out the angle of g of j omega into h of j omega which is equal to angle 1 divided by angle of this 1 minus omega by omega n whole square plus j into uh, 2 zeta omega by omega n so for this we need to calculate the angle angle 1 is going to be 0 degrees divided by so tan inverse of imaginary part divided by real part so imaginary part is nothing but what here imaginary part is this one and real part is this one so i can 2 zeta omega by omega n divided by 1 minus omega n omega by omega n whole square so i will be getting the resultant is going to be minus tan inverse of minus tan inverse of 2 zeta into omega by omega n divided by i'll be calculating 1 minus omega by omega n whole square by using this equation i'll be calculating the uh, phase angle in the case of quadratic pole quadratic pole so see in all the factors 
if you can if you uh, uh, find out one common thing is if whenever if i talking about pole we are we are all getting the negative phase angles negative phase angles as well as negative slopes and if i in terms of zeros if i talk about here positive phase angles we are getting and positive slopes we are getting so that is the thing which you have observed for all these four factors now similarly how to calculate how to calculate this no for this uh, quadratic zero for the quadratic zero if the quadratic zero is present if the quadratic zero is present so we have g of g omega into h of directly i am writing so it is nothing but 1 minus omega by omega n whole square straight away i am writing so j into 2 zeta omega by omega n so if, if i calculate the magnitude of this g of j omega into h of j omega which will give us mod of this that is nothing but 1 minus omega by omega n whole square and then whole square square root of plus force zeta square omega by omega n whole square then uh, applying this magnitude uh, in terms of 20 log then decibels so i apply the 20 log of square root of 1 minus 1 omega by omega n whole square and then whole square plus 4 zeta square omega by omega n whole square so we can uh, calculate at lower frequencies at lower frequencies the magnitude will become zero that is 20 log 1 in the similar case this will be neglected this whole term will be neglected 20 log and i am going to get zero d and for a higher frequency in similar fashion what we have calculated for the uh, pole magnitude will become 20 log omega by omega n whole square so remaining terms will be get neglected so i'll be getting plus 40 into log omega by omega n so this is what we can get for this simple zero so it has a change of slope for the simple zero of course from 0 to plus uh, plus 40 db change of slope from 0 to plus 40 db where it is occurring it is change of slope is occurring at corner frequency by equating this uh, equation of line magnet line equal to 0 then i'll be getting the corner frequency so from this log 40 log omega by omega n is equal to 0 then omega by omega n is equal to 10 to the power of 0 so omega c is equal to omega n so even this for simple uh, quadratic zero is also same omega c is equal to omega n so what we can uh, infer from this quadratic pole and there are three infers that is one is corner frequency omega c is equal to omega n and second one line of slope the magnitude line of slope is minus 40 db in this case of and third point is phase angle of course you can use the equation minus tan inverse of Uh, imaginary divided by real similarly quadratic zero if i am going to write here quadratic zero so we have the same three points only a common point is omega c is same for both the cases in the case of simple pole and simple zero it is same that is omega c is equal to 1 by t and in the case of quadratic pole and quadratic zero it is omega c is equal to omega n and the second point that is line of slope in this case it is uh, as we told that all the zeros will be having a positive slope that is plus 40 db line of slope then third one is phase angle is plus tan inverse of imaginary by real that is 2 zeta omega by omega n divided by 1 minus omega by omega n whole square just i'm writing imaginary by real you can substitute that values okay so this is about the four factors which we have discussed Uh, i mean uh, present in any uh, open loop transfer function for each factors we have found out the what is the uh, what is the uh, resultant slope what is the resultant slope we are going to get so with this today we will stop and the next class we will start the problem we will start the one numerical problem so that you can understand this
Yes, somebody can stop the recording, right? My screen is not. Ah, okay.